Hey, I'm in Auburn Hills today at the Palace. The Palace, not the one you're all thinking of. We're at the Palm Palace, home of exotic Moroccan, Middle Eastern, and Mediterranean food. Boy, my pleasure today to be sharing the table with Mr. Mustafa Dakroub. Thank you, same here, Tom. And a great cup of Turkish coffee, Middle Eastern coffee here. Thank you, Tom. We appreciate you coming uh, to uh, try out our food. Well, greatly appreciate it. Something I'm really interested about, the room we're in. Yes, this is uh, called Diwaniya. The easiest and shortest explanation would be a man cave. <laughs> and Why do they call it that in the Middle East? Uh, Diwaniya, 80% uh, of the homes in the uh, Gulf region have Diwaniya where friends uh, get together on a nightly basis and they uh, visit each other after a uh, hard day's work and they talk about uh, politics and the community and things that are happening and they have their Turkish coffee. So when we come here we can sit back, relax That's right. in this beautiful atmosphere and have not only just Turkish coffee, great food. Great food. Let's watch as a fresh batch of tabbouleh is made from scratch. Chef begins by chopping up green onions, followed by a diced tomato. Next, he cuts up half a Spanish onion, and then he chops up parsley and adds all the fresh cut ingredients together. Then cracked wheat is added along with lemon juice, olive oil, and a sprinkle of salt with black pepper and fresh mint. Everything is then mixed by hand before being placed on a plate of leaf lettuce, along with the finishing touches of lemon slices and a tomato rosette. The finished tabbouleh glistens with rich colors, exuding the freshness and healthy benefits of vegetables right from the garden. Another Middle Eastern specialty I got to watch Jamil make were the flaming kebabs. Now the action starts with a variety of cut up vegetables being added to the skewers. Next, the chicken, beef, shrimp, and lamb sausage skewers are laid out on a tray. Once the grill is fired up, all the pieces are placed over the heat and the grilling begins. Chef works the line as if he's playing a fine instrument, making sure all the vegetables and meat are rotated for even grilling. Next, Chef Jamil puts a mix of parsley, tomato, onion, and sumac onto a plate on the kebab stand. Now the anticipation is building as each skewer is carefully slotted on the stand. The finale comes when Chef strikes a match, reaches to light this mountainous kebab stand. What a show he's putting on for us. You have some Moroccan foods. Yes. And yes. you have something that takes me back to my childhood, sujuk. Or spicy sausage. Now man, this takes me back to my little Armenian grandmother's house when she'd make it for my sister and my cousins and I, just right in the little kitchen. Now the process begins with olive oil onto a skillet. Sujuk is heating up, cilantro and the diced tomatoes are put in. Now the ingredients continue to cook with some salt sprinkled in. Lemon juice gives some zest as the dish finishes over the hot flames. And the sujuk is plated Lemon and parsley garnish complete it. And you know, you can order sujuk as a standalone entree or it can, can be combined here with a fresh plate of hummus. It's a great dish. You saw how it was uh, cooked in the kitchen and it's served on top of hummus or by itself. Oh, and sujuk Spicy. Is spicy sausage. Yes, mixture of lamb and beef. Let's take a taste. I can see grandma in the kitchen. <laughs> I really can. I was really excited to watch Chef Jamil prepare Moroccan chicken, an exotic tasting dish that picks up on spices common to the dishes from North Africa. Now Chef starts off with olive oil, adds diced onion, green onion, chopped cilantro, chopped parsley, garlic, and fresh ginger. Now once these ingredients have sauteed, Skinless chicken breasts go into the pot. A mixture of spices, including turmeric, cinnamon, white and black pepper, saffron, go in just before he adds the green olives and raisins. This will ensure the dish is loaded with flavor. 
And to help the chicken get tender, water is combined with the mixture. Just before the pot is set aside to boil, more onions are added to it. And when the chicken is tender, we're at that finish line. And my mouth starts to water as Jamil scoops out the Moroccan chicken from the pot onto the tangine earthenware. He puts the garnish in place. The tangine top covers the plate to keep the heat in just before going out to be served. Spices, crazy. Yes. There was more than two or three. Yes, it's delicious. Now, breads are baked fresh here? That's right, they're, uh, they're, the dough is made on site and proofed and cut and baked. And the key is the bread does not wait for the customer, the customer waits for the bread. Hot and ready coming out of That's the oven. That's right. Well, I'd like to thank you for your time today, your great hospitality. My and pleasure. The food uh, beyond reproach. It's just it's just too good. Thank you.